Hey guys, Chris from Midwest Gun and Pawn here again. I know it's been a little while since my last video, but we're going to jump back in and we're going to take a look at another ride on optic scope, the X1 Primal 3x9x40. We got it mounted up right here on a Rock River 300 blackout. We're going to check it out, kind of go through a few things on it. It's sitting in the uh, ride on uh, Picatinny uh, cantilever mount by Contessa. And we're gonna kind of go through this scope a little bit, take a look at it, put a few rounds down range and see what we can come up with. So let's check it out. So here we go guys. This is the Ride On X1 Primal 3 to 9 by 40 cap turrets. As you can see, the sticker on the front that always indicates that Ride On is veteran owned. Here we go though. Same fast focus eyepiece as what's on the others. That's incredibly smooth. Feels really good. That thing is tight too. The integrated throw lever, which you can take that out, what have you. Cap turrets, like I said. And they sound really good too. You're not going to do that on accident, I promise. Same thing with the windage turret. Leave the caps off of it there for a moment. And uh, get a little better look as we kind of go around it. And this is the uh, ride on cantilever mount. I'm going to give it a run too. This is on a 300 blackout Rock River lower. And a, I'm not exactly sure who the upper is by. This gun is on loan to me by a friend of mine. Um, he was kind enough. He's, he's bought several ride on scopes, been real happy with all of them. And, he was kind enough to lend me this one. This is one I don't currently possess, and uh, I'd like to, was wanting to do a review on it. I'm not sure if I could actually get the uh, reticle. I'm hoping to get one of the uh, target cams in before too long, to where we can start getting a good look at the reticle. But there it is. Uh, let's get this thing on the bags and see how it does on the range. All right, guys, so I got it set up. Gun is ready to go. Uh, we don't have one in the chamber yet, but we're uh, we're gonna take a couple shots down range. It, just remember, this isn't really about the gun. This is about the scope. The, uh, we're gonna just be shooting some, uh, some steel case stuff. Ammo's really hard to get right now, especially for calibers like this. So, uh, Again, we're, we're going to get it down there. I, I don't know if it's sighted in or not. <laughs> he didn't really tell me. But um, we're going to get down there. I, I think from what he was telling me, it may be shooting a bit high. I've got another camera down range. We'll be watching the shots, seeing how, how we're doing. And I'm just going to try to give you a real-time feel for what I think about this scope. We'll work, once we kind of get on target, I'll run it through the power range and uh, play with my fast focus a little bit and just... Uh, See how we think about it, all right? So let's get some hair and protection and uh, we'll be ready to go live. Get my ears on. All right. All right, had a uh, kind of a stubborn, uh, stubborn dust shield there for a minute. There we go. All right, he did tell me he didn't think it's gonna been shot in a little while, so. 
So first thing I'm noticing is the scope, is, and I am on high power right now, I'm on nine. But I really like this reticle. Uh, I've got some nice hash marks, um, windage and elevation. On my elevation, it looks like I'm going from a hash to a dot, hash to a dot, hash to a dot. Uh, they're not incredibly thick. They're fine, which most of us target guys and long range guys, we tend to like that. So, but, uh, and it seems to just pull up really well. Let's take a shot and see what we think. There we go. See if we can hit something. I'm going to aim at the, uh, I know there's already some shots down there on this target, but I, because I don't know where it's going to hit, I'm going to aim at that bottom center dot. He told me he thought it might go high. So here we go. I might have hit low and left, actually. Put another one down there. Make sure we got we didn't have a failure to feed. Try again. I'll be darned. There it is, low and left. Make a couple of little adjustments here. You go right. Okay. Let's try the top row of dots that haven't been shot at. We're going to try uh, the far left dot. Still a little low, but honestly, I'm not real unhappy with it. Try that same dot again. I made a four click adjustment, I believe. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, we're in the shop, so slinging stuff everywhere here. There we go. I like that. Looking good. Looking good, looking good. This gun actually shoots a really good group. Um, and I tell you what, you know, I complain about 3x9s a lot. I'm not a 3x9 guy. I believe in high power scopes, and uh, which I like to shoot long range. And I like to shoot uh, rim fire guns at reasonable distance, but I like to be able to see what I'm doing. So I tend to shoot high power, high powered scopes most of the time. Um, now, I mean, of course the argument is in long range, that you don't really need it, you can get the job done with you know four to sixteens, and you absolutely can. I just I like to see it a little better. Um, it does amplify shake and what have you, but that's I'm off topic. I'm rambling. Uh, maybe don't I don't want to do that. Now let's uh, let's just play with the focus a little bit, see what it does. And generally, my crosshair focus is almost all the way. Actually, this one's a little bit backed out. It's it's just so clear. I mean, I've got I really want to get one of those tacticams, and uh, that way you guys can see how clear this is, like I do. I mean, this thing's amazing. For I think they're 
179 bucks or something like that, 180 80 bucks. I, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I know it's right there in that price range. And uh, what have you, let's, uh, let's see if I can't do something similar to what I was doing, but let's, uh, let's go down to low power. Let's just go down to three. I can still see those dots really well. Um, try the one in the middle this time. Now we'll zoom in back up to nine and see exactly what I got going on here. Hey, I think I did pretty well. In case you guys are wondering, that's my phone going off. That'd be the shop owner, Phil. Phil, you got name dropped right there in the video, buddy. I'm touching orange. That's real close to where I was shooting before. That was on three power at 100 yards. So, I mean, it's hard for me to complain with that. Um, but da, 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 da. Let's see here. Try that again. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, amount of ammo. You guys should have said something. But let's uh, may load this thing up. Go down there and uh, try the steel plates real quick. So uh, bear with me a minute, and we'll shoot this thing a little bit more. All right, guys. So we're back out here. Got another camera down range. We're gonna shoot those steel plates from up here it's about uh 60 yards or so so we're gonna back this scope down on uh, about three power and uh just see how she does so let's uh let's do a little shooting Hey, which we were shooting pretty good at 100 yards, so it's hard to argue with that right there. But <laughs> I forget how much fun this is sometimes. 300 blackout, right on X1 primal, three to nine by 40. Uh, if uh, if I was going to give a recommendation, I'd say absolutely. Absolutely. This gun, this scope, I love this package. There it is again. Still got ammo. And I'm out. <laughs> there it is. And we are out of ammo. Flip it over on safe. We're going to set her down for a minute. Take my ears off. But, so... That being said, uh, the X1 Primal shoots really well. The three to nine by 40 shoots good. Uh, I already did the four to 16 on that deer rifle setup on that 308. Uh, as you can see, we work good at close range. We work really well at long range. Um, all that being said, I think it's a thumbs up. I think you ought to get one for 180 bucks. I don't know how you beat it on a, on a setup like that right there. Thing is awesome. Now I also did want to let everybody know I am officially a ride on pro staff member now. They brought me on. We got all the paperwork out of the way. So anything you guys want to know about ride on scopes, come by the shop, hit me up, drop a comment on uh, any of the social media stuff. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook at Midwest Gun and Pawn. Uh, that usually my original contents there on the Facebook page. You can hit me up there or uh, have an Instagram account at cb custom gw um or you look me up at chris booker on instagram so by all means hit me up let me know what you think uh if you got any questions about the x1 3 to 9 by 40 let me know let's uh let's talk about it guys let's see what you got see ya <laughs>